G'day guys, welcome back to my Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. How are we doing? Hope you guys are doing well. So, what I want to do today is I want to continue on with my um, building of my home base. Not the Horde base, but the home base. So, basically where we sort of left off, I've pretty much went through, clear the whole area and made it look a lot more cleaner. Um, this is actually a retake of my intro because I had a wandering vulture horde well you know little pack of vultures running around and i was pretty much halfway explaining what i was going to do today and then all of a sudden they just came out of nowhere and started attacking me so i had to deal with them but i digress what i wanted to do was i wanted to get this all sorted out and fixed up and finally you know a place to sort of call home which is a little bit more on the secure side so let's face it i never really put any sort of attention to um, my home base here and as you can see this is what I was sort of touching on last um, video that I want to have a nice little space to drop in my cars leave them there my vehicle sorry and um, you know and just have like a nice little little base of operations and yeah it sort of got me thinking you know in between videos and things like that what I really wanted to do to this base and how I was sort of going to you know fix it up and operate it from here on out so i'm sort of thinking of a few things here and there as well as i sort of go along but what i was sort of thinking about and i sort of ultimately made my decision on this initially i wanted to make some windows um so i was going to get some bulletproof glass and sort of slap them on here i thought it would have made it you know would have made it look a, a lot oh okay, we have a visitor we've got a screaming zombie where is she i heard her i know you guys are there she is See, look at this. I really don't want any unwanted intruders to annoy me while I'm either talking to you guys, but also, um, you know, just wandering and trying to, you know, destroy the place. So that's basically what I'm sort of trying to sort of achieve here. But yeah, I was originally going to put some bulletproof glass in here, but I figured, you know, in situations like that, if I had a... Um, the scream come in or any sort of wandering zombies that could see me inside and you know they'll come in and attack and even if i was going to put some you know metal spikes in here and things like that that was going to be maybe aesthetically non-pleasing i don't know but let, let's look at it if i look if i went into bulletproof um glass you know you need a bit of resources material and i really can't be bothered doing that to be honest with you I might make it in a next let's play, I don't know, or in a different, you know, sort of um, uh, capacity, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know, oh, and they're still around, they are still around, these stupid vultures, where the, where the frick did you go, come here, man, you are so annoying, come on, there we go, I know there's about four of them, they usually come in packs of four or five, I've taken down, that was the third one, so I don't know if there's any other ones due to piss me off. There we go. There we go. I see you. I see you. Thank you very much. Jesus. I hope that's it. I really hope that's it. Anyway. Yeah, so I figured, you know what, let's just set up with reinforced concrete and, um, and call it a day. May not look the most aesthetically pleasing, but it's going to be functional and it's going to do the job and that's all I wanted to you know systematically do also bought myself a nail gun finally so I actually have a nail gun so I'm pretty happy with him so let's go ahead and um, uh, plug all this up and come on there we go there we go and we'll get this other side here done and that pretty much leaves the two gaping holes that I have uh, front and back and I did say in the previous video I'm gonna make some automatic doors uh, garage doors so we can actually um, you know roll in and roll out when required kind of thing and that's what we're gonna do today so I'm, I've got the second one um, getting crafted as we speak I haven't had time to open uh, break down these things here I just couldn't be bothered but um, we'll go ahead and sort that out in a moment and I was also thinking of you know, ways to sort of protect um, this space here, especially with the roller door in, in question as well, because once I get all these upgraded to reinforced concrete, because that's basically what I'm going to do. The whole base around it's going to be reinforced concreted, and it's going to be very, very secure, I hope, of course. 
but um, this is basically what I'm sort of looking at next and I haven't really okay so that looks to be easy and I think this is going to be okay cool um, yeah so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a zombie proof um, enclosure oh sorry um, a barrier like a force field and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there is an excellent video done by Jawoodal, a fellow Aussie um, Seven Days to Die YouTuber as well, uh, made an excellent um, way to prevent uh, zombies um, entering a certain area. So theoretically, I could even have this as an opening, but I really want it as a garage because um, I think it really looks really cool. So that's what I'm sort of going to look um, look at doing here today. And, you know, we'll, um, we'll, we'll sort of assess it as we sort of, um, you know, progress further on. But I'm sort of trying to work out a way to elegantly make it so. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at with things here. So, yeah. So let's have, let's have a quick look now and let's sort of appreciate the... Um, yeah, the closings. It looks clean. Okay, I, I like it. It may look nicer with the windows. I'm not too sure, but anyway, I've done it now, so it doesn't really matter. So let's um, let's move on. So I've got one of the doors here. Let's go ahead and sort this one out. So Mr. Door. Um, okay, so that's basically where we're going to have it. There we go. So obviously we can't go in there or get in there because we've got... Um, we need power going to it essentially so that's what it's going to look like kind of looks cool I think you can paint these things as well and get it looking a lot more neater I guess but um, that's yeah that's another thing I'm looking at doing anyway and we, the next part here is we've got motion sensors so what I really want to do with this motion sensor is I'm not too sure if this is going to be um, can I go advanced rotation with this no I can't it's, all, it's only going to be simple rotation and I can't do it in there, can I? All right, so it's gonna, and I can't really do it. Yeah, not gonna happen. Okay, cool. Um, maybe if I could do it this way. I don't know. Just to sort of protect it, I guess. Would that look cool? Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right, for now, we're, we're going to leave it there. I'm going to whack it there, and I'm going to go around to the back, and we'll um, and we'll sort of try and get this thing opened up as well. So I was doing this in my test world as well, and I sort of worked out exactly what I wanted to do and how I sort of wanted to work it as well. So um, that's all well and good now. And I think I want to put you there. There we go. All right, I think that's cool. Alright, so the, the next part is hooking everything up essentially. So how I'm going to do that, you ask? Well, I figured I'm going to put possibly a, a block or something like that here. And, whoop, where am I? Where do I put it? Um, I'll get rid of the motion sensors for now. And I don't know, do I want it there? Does that look too intrusive? If I just put it there, that might be okay, I guess. Um, Alright, I'm going to have to think about the location of everything, but anyway, for the purpose of the video, I will just pop this all here as it is anyway. Pop it up on there, and I want to whack in a few batteries that I managed to find, um, you know, uh, a, a little while back. So, ooh, all right, oh, cool, I got the wire tool. I thought I didn't have the wire tool, tool on me, which is good. Okay, so what I want to do is, I want to get this then this and then from here I want to get oop. hmm I don't think I have enough power so it tells me I've got 5 watts of power so you're telling me I can't oh no I can of course you can anyway so what I want to do with that is I essentially I want to go let's open it up if I can quickly run out here and we're going to sort of daisy chain it to that so now that I've got power we can sort of work out exactly how we sort of want to do this so um, let's go ahead and interact with this fella here and I want to sort of interact it to about 
Well, it's sort of going to work out to about here, I guess. Maybe in the center. So if we get out of that. And then the trigger delay. I want the power to be on for about three seconds. And I think I, I think I set this up for two. So let's go ahead and try that now. I might have to play with this. But as I sort of go in. Oh, that's right. And then that's what I've got to do. I want this to go to here. Perfect. All right, so that's basically how it's supposed to work in a way. Okay, so we've got... And that should allow me... Come on. I've got to, I've got to work around with how this actually works. Actually, let's um, quickly... Oop, let's go back. Audio. I think this is a little bit way too loud for that one there, so... Sorry about that guys. Okay, so essentially all I want to do is I want it for me to um He's gonna, he's gonna keep seeing me. Anyway, I'm gonna try and reset this up and fix it up But essentially what what's happening here is I want this to have a delay as I'm sort of rolling up to it It sees me by the time I come to either a rolling stop if I'm just rolling up slowly It's gonna automatically open and I'm gonna have the ability to sort of roll on out with enough time for the roller doors to stay up and then close and that's basically what, what I'm sort of trying to achieve here. So let's quickly just interact with him. And I just want this to be bam smack in the middle. Perfect. And then I want the power delayed at three seconds. And I think I had this at two seconds last time. So if I did that and then I roll up here, it's going to, it should see me. There we go. And then, whoop. Let's see if we can try it with a vehicle. So here we go. On my day of adventure, let's head out for the day. And let's roll up to our garage door. And then I can sort of roll, roll on out kind of thing. And then... And then after a long day... So let's... Um, oop, let's roll out a little bit over here. Boom, 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 boom. And then, yep, all right. Let's head on back home. And then picks me up, hopefully, opens up, and away I go in. And then I can just sort of park her up. And then, that's it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to do with that. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, let me know what you think, guys. Does it work? Do you think it... Um, I think it needs a little bit of tweaking. So I'm going to have to play around with it and sort of make it, you know, my own, I guess, in a sense. But yeah, that's pretty much where I... How I sort of wanted to do it and sort of, you know, get it to that sort of point and stage. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it with that one there. And then what I was thinking with... Um, let's get rid of the nail gun for now. Um, for the back end here, I'm going to have to sort of um, get some. Because I want to make it elegant, of course. And, you know, you have to in these sort of um, situations. So, I think I might make it there. And then, I think I might, if I can get it extended that far, I will. And plop it there. And I think that's all that I need. So, if I can sort of chain it from there, all the way there. I might even put a third one in here, just in case... Um, in terms of spacing, I think that's like in the middle there, so I think I'll be happy with that. Um, yeah, so I think that would actually, I think I might have to grab him. I think I might have to move it over one square just to sort of make it consistent, of course. But, okay. Yep, I think that works. That looks, appears to be right. Yes, it does. And you are perfect. And then that way I just sort of chain it all the way over here and then do the exact same thing. Um, over here and then I've got the um, the back end here all done and I'm gonna leave this open it's not worth putting anything in here kind of thing so I'll just sort of leave it as it is um, so let's see if the other roller door is done um, which you are great and I've got the required sensors here as well I hear some ah are you serious and she screamed are you freaking kidding me 
where you walked inside didn't you you pain get away from here all right you s you ought to spawn someone had to have spawned someone you did scream i don't know if you actually well you didn't see me to scream so i don't know how that actually works so i was under the leading impression is if they screamed at the very least you would um you would have a spawn of zombies but that's okay anyway uh, let's go ahead and get this one sorted out as well. Um, plop. Okay, and then that's the back. And what's kind of cool is I've actually got a light there, so I might actually end up leaving that there. And I might have to offset the uh, the motion camera as well um, on the other side. But yeah, that's pretty much how I sort of wanted to do this. So, motion camera. I might just put you there. So that looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to have to whiz around the front, get myself in, and then we'll um, try and get this wire tool happening, and we'll sort of chain it across. And I think that's pretty much what I wanted to do with the base. So let's wait here for a second. It might be a little bit too long. I think I might have to... I'm going to have to play around with this. But you guys get my the idea with this. So let's get that there, and then let's get this. Come on, you. And then you've got to be careful to not... Um, have the this uh, cabling go to like a um, like a red kind of thing because it just doesn't work out. Anyway, I don't know if I want both this and this. I guess. Um, oops. I don't know if I want to open on the inside because I don't know if I really want to have this on the outs uh, on the inside as well. But for the purpose of today, let's let's see how we um, how we go with this. I'm gonna have to chain you to that and then get you to open up for me if you can if you will um, kind of detect me does it work hello I've hooked, I've hooked you up to power why, is, why aren't you working I don't think I have enough power so I don't think I have enough power for this but um, I'm sure we're gonna work it out anyway Interacts. I've only got 11 watts. Okay, so that, that that's the reason why. That is the reason why, because that takes off 1 watt. That's 2, 3, this is 5, so that's 8 watts. And, okay, so that's 13 watts, and then there's going to be another... There's going to be um, 18 watts, so... 10, 15. So 15 right there. Sorry, let's do the math again. 15. 16, 17, 18, there's 18 watts and I've only got 11 watts to play with and then I've already got this powered up too so yeah it's not going to happen alright alright so I'm going to have to um, yeah disconnect that for now because that, that's still working at the end of the day but I need power going to this in order for me to actually start playing with it and all that kind of stuff so but at least for now it's sort of secured I guess in a way because I've got everything all sorted out now which is kind of good and um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do with making this um, a little bit more on the secure side. Now, I don't know how much um, hit points this thing has. Can I grab my nail gun? And I want to see if I can actually upgrade this. Can I upgrade it? Can you upgrade? Hello? No, you can't. Okay. So you can't upgrade it. Okay. Well, that's fine. I think it's got about 2,500. It's got 14,000. Wow. Okay. I don't think I really need to... Um, secure this any further but I could I really could and what I was sort of going on beforehand um, let's just sort of walk out before now it was I don't believe it was his um, his full creation on it but um, I found this from uh, Jawoodle again he's an Aussie youtuber that does a lot of seven days to die videos this thing's gonna annoy the hell out of me I've got to back away all right anyway um, yeah so he basically broke down three blocks worth, or up to four blocks worth, going down in pretty much in this sort of space, you know. So about, so let's say about five by four in this case, maybe five by five. In this instance, I might have to do it. And then basically, um, whenever a zombie or you're in that open space, no zombie can walk over this said force field. And it's strange in saying that, but it actually works done it in my test world I don't even have a roller door at the front to sort of you know further protect me or anything like that but it, it works and 
The other reason why I was sort of thinking about doing that is basically so no zombies would um, attack the um, uh, the roller door itself. So that's my thought process behind that. And yeah, that's why I was sort of considering about doing it. I've got to really, I've got to play around with this. I've got to sort of angle that in a little bit more um, as much as I can. Because even from here, it's it's actually registering me and picking me up here. But yeah, so that's basically what I'm, you know, looking at doing with this thing. So I'm actually quite happy with it, the way that it's sort of come out. Um, like I said, I'm going to need to continue on and um, improving the, um, uh, th this whole base, you know, I've got to sort of make it a little bit more reinforced, make it a little bit more, um, you know, um, completely, uh, sound, I guess, at the end of the day. And I'm probably going to need to, especially with the battery situation, I'm probably going to, I'm going to have to go around and find some more batteries so I can actually have this fella here all hooked up and ready to go because this actually looks pretty cool the way that I've done this here it looks good it actually looks it sort of looks the part and I sort of considered doing the same thing here and making that um, that zombie proof area here and sort of fix it up and the reason why that, that they can't sort of run over this area here and sort of going back to it again I know I'm sort of going in and out with this um, so long as you put arrow slits all along here in a, in a, in sort of in a row kind of formation um, they won't walk over it. They see it as a hole and they go, no, nah, can't do it. And they'll sort of, you know, walk around kind of thing. If I really wanted to make this proper, proper zombie proof, which I probably should look at doing, what I'm thinking about with this is I'll probably make some vertical um, slopes here. And that way, all that they would just end up doing is just running up and down um, the, the slopes here and won't attack the base at all. Now, that was another thing I was thinking about doing with this base, but I don't know if I want to spend all that resource and time and effort doing it, but then again, I'm probably saving on concrete as well at the same time. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's thoughts, there's things. I'm not too sure what, what I want to do with it, but, um, that's what I'm thinking about. There's a few things that I'm thinking about here. Um, it might actually look, it might actually come out and look good as well at the same time. So yeah, um, I'll think about it. I'll actually think about it, but pretty much, um, you know what, I think we, it's a good time to sort of go ahead and leave it for today. Oh, that's actually popping up in there. So if I were to walk up here, that, 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 that'll that actually trigger that. So I'm going to have to fix that up anyway. Um, so let's get rid of that. But um, Horde Night is next, guys. So I think we're going to be um, doing a bit of Horde Night. Um, or possibly what I might end up doing is, let's take a look at everything that I've got in the surrounding area here. There is a few, I've got a, um, an airdrop. I've got this little guy over here that I'm sort of wiggling about. Um, and I've got a few of these things as well. So maybe do I spend the day of Horde day just trying to cl um, clear up all these markers here. So I've got, you know, less markers to worry about, you know, come Horde night and then post Horde night. Um, then you know we can get into some looting and things like that. So yeah, all all things considered, I think we might do it that way. Maybe who knows? I'm not too sure, but that's my thought process with it. So yeah, um, I think this was sort of like a productive day. I feel. I mean, you know, essentially we really didn't do too much with everything, but I like to sort of you know show you guys what I'm sort of wanting to do with my bases and things like that, and then you know sort of take it from uh, from there. Here, look. I don't know what I want to do with this. Do I consolidate? And this is the other thing I really wanted to sort of touch on before we sort of, um, you know, sign off for the day here. So let's go back into the base. Um, all right. And let's just wait for this to open up. Yeah, I'm going to have to start playing around with this. Um, what I was thinking is do I um, use all this space here and possibly the space on the other side here as my um, workstations, Chem um, you know, uh, chemistry station maybe over there, forges maybe over there, uh, workstation cement mixes here. I think that might actually look good. You know, I think that actually might look really good. And then I can get it rid of the top here and I don't have to always go up and down kind of thing like I can still go up there and if there's any zombies annoying me or anything like that I can sort of you know peg them from from top there and that might that might actually be a not a bad idea and I might actually start relocating things down here I'll set up some um, you know some uh, storage boxes and things like that 
And like I said, um, I said this in, in the previous video, I want to get some storage lockers on here, here, and on the other side as well, just for each vehicle, I guess, or vehicles. Because I'll probably end up putting, um, laying my bike and mini bike here. Motorbike stays there, or I might even put the motorbike over here, and I'll have the 4x4 sitting here as well. Um, and yeah, and I've pretty much got all the available bits and pieces here. Or even if I get the gyroscope, yeah? The gyrocopter, sorry, the gyroscope, the gyrocopter. I can probably whack the gyrocopter here. I'll put the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, the mini bike and the bicycle here. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about things here as well. Or, you know, you could even just leave the gyrocopter somewhere in here. I don't know. Thinking, thinking. Um, but yeah, that's my thought process with everything, with all that. And yeah, look, to be honest, I haven't got a bad looking base. And honestly, if I end up doing it that way, you know, removing the top, then I may consider doing those slopes around the base as well, just to sort of have a better operation. And I think that might actually be a good idea. You know what? I think I might actually do that. So I think I might relocate everything down here. Um, I might make some duplications of, um, you know, stations and put it down here, whack them down here, get them all sorted out. And then at least this way I can have a room that I can enter through here, room I can enter through here, because I could bang maybe one, two chemistry stations here, forges can sit here without a problem at whatsoever, sort of fix this up of course, and then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side here and just have like a little, yeah, yeah, I kind of like that, I actually kind of like that a lot, yeah, okay, I think I'm sorted, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this way I've got all my, all my, um, you know, my bits and pieces here. I can sort of come in and out as I go kind of thing. It's kind of like a, um, you know, it's a, a sort of outfit, like a, like a loft, like a garage kind of thing. I kind of like that. I actually really kind of like that. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But I think that's going to be it for today. Again, as I said, I think... Um, I should really get out of here today and finish this video off. So appreciate you guys stopping by as always. So be sure to hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts about all the, the whole base idea and what you think about it. I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are. Um, and yeah, make sure that you share the video guys. Really help me out. That'll really get more people, um, you know, coming into the channel, checking out my seven days videos. Cause I really, really enjoy, um, making these videos as you probably guys would, um, very well imagine. So yeah, um, if you can do that for me, that'd be awesome. And if you do enjoy what I, what I do with my, um, videos and things like that, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon. So you don't miss out on any future videos. Righto guys, take it easy. And I, shall catch you next time.